Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be finish, finishing up our start menu that we created last time. We just created a few buttons, uh, images and panels and a uh, few texts and we got this. Let's get started with that. So I think a very good way of doing this is doing it from the game controller because well it controls the game. What I want to do is first get rid of this uh, simple thing to do, it's called exit game and uh, the function for that is pretty simple. So you create a new public void called exit game, you can call it whatever you want but this is uh, pretty much logical. And then you go application dot quit and that's it. Now all you have to do is go back to your button, find the on click function here, add a element, find the object that the script with the function is attached to, so the game controller. Attached here, find the game controller script from it and exit game. That's it. Now your exit game fun uh, button will work, but only once you uh, run the game or build the game actually. Uh, now it won't do anything. I actually thought about it a lot and in the last episode I think I was wrong because making this start menu and everything else in the same scene is very hard and it takes a lot a lot a lot of uh, programming and I, I just don't think it's worth it so what we'll do is we'll create a new scene and we'll call it the start menu scene open that up and we need some kind of a UI just so we can go back to our scene 001 take uh, the uh, start menu from there so just copy it go back to the start scene and paste it in here now if we go and uh, add a canvas, UI canvas, like this, attach it to the canvas, you can see this. So we'll go back to our uh, save and go back to our scene 001 and delete the start menu from here because we don't need it in here. Go back to start menu, save, and in here we just have to create a new empty object that we call start menu controller then I will need a new script for it. So we'll go to scripts, create C sharp script, start menu controller. We'll first open it up and then attach it. So again, we have to make the um, exit game um, function. So let's go back to our game controller, just copy this, delete it, go back to our start menu and put it in here. And same thing as we did before, just uh, give it a game object. Uh, give it the start menu controller, then find the start menu controller script and X game. We have to do the same thing for uh, a public void start game. And in here we'll start the game. So let's just assign the function, go back to our button, find the on click function. Give it the start menu controller, find the start menu controller script and give it start game. So now every time we press this button, start game is going to be called. Every time we press this button, exit game is going to get called. So how do we want to start the game? We can just load the scene. So we'll go using Unity Engine dot scene manager or scene management, sorry. And then in here we can just go scene or uh, scene manager dot load scene and then we have to tell him which scene to load let's go to our build settings where we have our scenes and let's add a open scene so we have this one and then i will place it to be the first so whenever we run the game this scene is going to get ran first since we have only two scenes we know exactly which one to load if this one is loaded then we'll load the other one every scene has its integer or its build index and for the first scene is zero, for the second scene is one, and so on. So we'll just run the first one, or the second one in this case, because it starts from zero. Let's start, let's play the game, and click start game, and it will load this scene for us. And now we can run around, but uh, nothing happens. Actually, everything happens, except the UI here is disabled. How we're going to do this is just uh, go back to our scene, our game scene and enable all the elements here because we disabled them last time so enable them and now if we go back to our start menu scene we're going to go ahead click play start the game wait a little bit and then start everything here and that's pretty much it you can take care of this scene you can uh, make it prettier you can add some backgrounds but 
I really don't want to because it's not important for me. But that's it for this episode, we can pretty much enter the game and play it, and if we die we can just replay it. Makes sense. We only have a few more things to do in this series, and hopefully this finishes up quickly because I really have a lot of other projects that I want to do. And you can go follow me on my social media, there's links to that in the description. Or on my Patreon if you're that kind, you get a shout out every time. And uh, hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.